Okay, hello everyone and welcome to the video. In this one, we're going to go through a problem that some of you might, may have encountered, which is not enabling you to open up your old My Old Classic file. To be more specific here, we're talking about the old desktop version up to versions 19. And one day you went in to open it and this happened. This app has been blocked for your protection. Windows is telling us. An administrator has blocked you from running this app. For more information, contact the administrator. Okay, so I'm the administrator. I haven't blocked anything. What's going on here? Myob exe, publisher unknown, file origin from the hard drive of this computer. Then it's got the program location and the file extension we're trying to load. So let's close that. So a bit of a backstory to this. In 2018, Myob actually publicly announced that they will be ending all support for the Myob Classic range, the classic desktop versions up to version 19. And what that means was they allowed the security certificate to expire and this triggered a security block on Windows 10 automatic upgrade. So when Windows 10 did an upgrade and the security certificate had expired, then it no longer allowed Myob to uh, open at all. It wouldn't allow it to execute. So the end result of all this was that users were now forced to quit their old Myob desktop version that they may have paid for outright back in the day. And they were now forced to move to a subscription model to start paying monthly fees to Myob where they didn't have to do that before and move on to one of the newer versions. Or you had to find a workaround and there was no guidance from Myob about a workaround and no one even knew if a workaround existed but then some clever people worked it out and I'm going to show you how they got around it. And basically what it involved was running Myob as a batch file in MS-DOS. So we're back to the 90s here people and um, funnily enough it actually works. So let's have a look at what we have to do. So we already saw here the app was blocked, but there is a workaround. If you do not want to upgrade to one of the monthly subscriptions and you want to retain your old version, which you would have paid for outright back in the day. So basically what you have to do, you have to open up Notepad. So you go down here, type in Notepad, click on it, it opens up. Then you have to basically do something similar to what I've done here. At the top, you have to write C colon, that's the hard drive where your Myob program files are stored. And then you have to type in the file path or where Myob is stored. So for me, that means going into this directory here, if I can find it. There it is. So then just go up here, you go control C to copy and then go down here and then go control V to paste and it pastes that there straight from here. It's just the directory of where my will be stored on your hard drive. So that'll be a little bit different for everyone, but that's what it is for me. And then down the bottom here, just type in myob.exe and then you go file, save as, you're gonna have to change this to type all files and then you're going to save it as myob.bat which is a batch file and then you click save so we have saved it to our desktop and here it is our my old batch file that's the file that we just created and saved to our desktop we opened it in notepad we copied over our directory and typed those things in that I just showed and then we saved it as a batch file to our desktop and that's what this little icon here is. So then all we do is instead of double clicking on the normal Myob icon which won't get us in anymore because we keep hitting that error, we're blocked for our own protection. All we do is go right click on the batch file, not the Myob execution desktop shortcut, run as administrator. Do you want to allow this app to make changes to your device? Click yes. It opens up MS-DOS. So a lot of you, depending on how old you are, probably don't even know what MS-DOS is, but that was the common way of using computers 
before Windows became Windows. And here we are, we're into the file. And then you can open up whatever company file you're using and operate it as per normal. And that's it guys. It seems like a sort of a pretty serious dead end when you first head into it, but as I said at the top, some clever people figured out a workaround and the workaround is actually pretty simple. There you are, you can keep using your old desktop version and you will not be forced into a monthly subscription if that's not what you want to do. Hopefully this helps some people out. Alright guys, thanks for watching and we'll catch you later.